artists have this capacity to immerse their thought inside the fragility of mental health. Mental health has always been like sort of uh, what probably modernity has feared the most. I think really modern mind fears madness. My interest for the, the, the mental health here in Berlin is that you have a city that has been marked by history, even if it has been repaired very much, where you really still feel the injuries of the past. Living in this atmosphere has put me in touch with people who have grown up both in the GDR and, and in the West. And I have to say that this has it really brought a sort of uh, interest to understand what has not been told yet uh, the contemporary history of Germany. This is basically what I'm planning to develop for Mindscape for, as a concrete result of my, my residency. We all carry the memory of our ancestors. So the, these injuries, if, though they, they, they sound silent, they are actually uh, making, uh, producing a significant noise. Trauma that the patient did not necessarily live, but maybe his or her parents or grandparents. I'm very interested by the way that these uh, injuries of the past are impacting the mass, the mental health and uh, the political orientation of the crowd. Art has always played a role in a society and that's why I do believe very much in museum and exhibition. I think we sh if we lose the capacity to generate this field of emotion in a space, we will lose a lot. So how art can change the social life by reappropriating the field of emotion and do not leave it in the hand of populism and techno-liberalism? I'm totally open to any response by people because it's, it's fascinating to see that uh, Sometimes viewers appropriate your work with their own story, their own sensibility, and what they explain to you helps you to also see things that you didn't see before. I think what is interesting with Mindscape is other artists have been invited in other places in the world, and that you are part of a sort of conversation that is spread worldwide within a network. I think this is what we need today. We need, we need different voices, we need different cultures too to merge into maybe a new language.